cause is our Republican Party is broken to its core. What we have done tonight has really honestly shocked the nation. We have further exposed the corruption within our own feckless, cowardly Republican Party. And that is exactly the reason why Right? I decided to run against a rhino Republican, Daniel Webster. Do nothing, Daniel Webster. So first of all, Laura Loomer, keep Anna Kasparian's feckless out of your mouth. That's her term, not yours. Don't try to steal it. Second of all, she's very proud of what she did there. What she did there was lose her election. Let's keep it real. She was running and she lost, which is good. Now, the joke is somewhat on us in that the election was way closer than it should have been. Considering that it's her, and as we're going to describe, she's one of the most reprehensible people in America. Uh, but first, let's have a little bit more of her reaction to the election in this. We are losing our country because of big tech election interference. And I am pleading with the Republican Party to please start taking this issue seriously. Please, because the American people deserve representation. And that's a that's why I ran for Congress in 2020. It's why I ran for Congress in 2022. And it's why I'm going to keep fighting for all of you. I'm never going to. That is her explanation as to why she's going to continue running for Congress and fighting for you. I would argue that she's a massive grifter, always has been, and this is a great way to regularly get people to transfer their money to you. I think that's probably why she's going to continue to run for office. She ran in 2020. Actually won a primary there, but lost to the Democrat by more than 16 points. And now she's lost, although closer in this Republican primary. But she is very much, if it wasn't clear there, uh, not conceding. You know why? Because the election was stolen from her. <laughs> you know why? Because she lost and that hurts. And it hurts to admit that you lost. So um, just don't ever do that. Don't ever admit that you lost. You never have to lose anything again in your life. You are awesome and shiny and you have very, very nice soft hair. So nothing bad ever happen, ever has to happen to you. Or if it does happen to you, it was stolen. Or if it was really bad, it was a false flag. Or it was a hoax or it was a witch hunt. Nothing's ever true that's bad for you. That's the way it works out for Republicans. As um, I forget exactly who it was that noted on Twitter, they were like, uh, this is the generation of like boomer conservatives that told us we were weak for wanting participation trophies. First of all, I never heard a kid my age ask for one of those trophies. It seemed like you guys really wanted to award them. And now none of you will admit that a politician you support has ever lost. Laura Loomer is not the first Republican in this cycle running against another Republican to claim that voter fraud stole the election from her. Most of them are doing it at this point. They they will not admit defeat. There would be something like dignity in it. But why admit it when your audience will buy whatever conspiratorial BS you have to say, JR? That's the way this whole thing works, right? As if you, one thing you notice from that, the speech where she's crying is we have to stop this big tech takeover of our elections. It always goes back to big tech. And that's one of those code words for I've been shadow banned, the algorithms after me. Not that I've said or done anything that would get me in any kind of hot water with this or would have me violating the rules and of these platforms that don't guarantee you having access to them. It all goes back to having the ability to reach more crazed folks, radicalize them, which we'll get to her thoughts on stuff like that and make money off of it. People yeah. run for office, like some people go to school sometimes because they're like, oh man. <laughs> I mean, it's easier sometimes to go to school and keep going to school and get more degrees rather than try and jump in this sometimes bad uh, 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 work market. So if she's running for office, she's gonna do it again and again and again, cuz it's a money maker. It builds up her yeah. clout, it builds up her name recognition so that she can go back and say, I have a podcast now. Look, what's his name, um, who just lost? Uh, my, my man from North Carolina uh, who had the sex orgy parties. And he got dismantled by his entire. Oh, Madison I'm Cawthorn. already. Yeah, I'm actually happy. I'm forgetting his name. And Madison he said Cawthorn. No to the parties. But. <laughs> yeah, no, he just participated. Um, but he will go straight to the podcast. It goes back to money making schemes because they got to go back to the only work that they've got. Yeah. And this is just a, a springboard off of that, and it has nothing to do with actually winning or losing yeah. elections. So, Republican Party and rigs elections now, Laura. Is that what is that what we're saying? Is of it course. Republican Party's the problem? We should get Mike Lindell on the case. No, like, look, we're criticizing her for pretending that like the it was rigged for one Republican versus another. But, but honestly, is that any crazier than Marjorie Greene spending a year and a half saying that the Georgia elections were fraudulent 
when she got into office in that Georgia election, I would say they're on roughly the same level of crazy. Um, now in terms of how out now awful a person is, is Loomer better or worse than Green? That's an interesting debate to have. Um, after 50 people were killed in the Christchurch shooting in New Zealand, she said, nobody cares about the shooting. I especially don't. I care about my social media accounts and the fact that Americans are being silenced, which is very, very sociopathically online of her. Um, but she didn't care because they were Muslims. That's it. That's the only reason she is 10% more openly Islamophobic than most Republicans at this point. A contributor to Infowars, you'll be shocked to find out, believes mass shootings, whichever one you wanna, all of them are fake. They were all made up by the government. Um, she says America's white history is being erased, which is cool. Uh, and also, by the way, I, I think that this sums it up better than anything else. I can give you all of her quotes. She was so crazy that she got banned from CPAC. <laughs> Do you know how crazy you need to be to get banned from CPAC? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you so. have to say things like, um, when someone asks, are you pro-white nationalism? She says, yes, I'm pro-white nationalism. So uh, again, in that earlier video, she said that the American people need representation. Remember that she said the American people need representation. Yet she's an Islamophobe. Uh, she's talking about false flags at Parkland and all these, these shootings that happened to kill children. Um, and she has this white nationalist love. I want you to compile all the people in the country who are against all those types of things and more. And ask which Americans yeah. does she look think need representation? For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.